Um, I'll be honest with you, I did have questions for Tony, but obviously now he's got his new contract, he's decided to go home, rolling his £20 notes. So um, we start off with obviously last week. He can do what he wants now. Yeah, he can do what he wants. Last week, um, good performance to get back on the, the horse against Widnes. Good performance, and we needed it as well. I think after uh, back to back defeats, um, probably the manner of our performance again, Huddersfield, you know, we're very flat. We lack shape, we lack energy, we never look like scoring too many points all evening, which, is, which has been very unlike us this year. Um, you know, I think you guys will have found that the, the images and review were very powerful in saying yeah, how far away from what we've, you know, what we've been turning out, you know, how far away we were. So, yeah, good, good to get both sides of the ball going like we did on Friday. Yeah. Um, obviously, Wigan this week, um, it was only, I think, three, four weeks ago we. We had a strong performance against them. Um, obviously, it's going to be another tough game this week. What, what do you make of them? Well, what you always know again, again, Wigan, you're going to get a tough game. Um, they've had a, a really difficult season in terms of injuries. They've had lots and lots of um, different combinations, different people playing through the spine of the team. Uh, changes from week to week, you know, losing key players, not having key players available to them. But they sat level on points at the top of the competition. So I think that tells you the mentality um, and the toughness that's ingrained in their club. And you know they won't like the fact that, that you know we got a result over at the DW only four weeks ago. I'm sure that's pretty fresh in their memory. So we're expecting a tough game. We um, obviously we we probably started the season well, but um, you know last. Probably the last four or five weeks, you know, probably been a bit inconsistent in our performances. Um, I think we've probably probably got a period coming up now, the next you know four or five weeks or so. You know, we can kind of establish ourselves at, at the top of the table. What what do you think we need to do? You know, to get ourselves in, in a good position. Win all those games. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that. <laughs> um, Look, I think, I think over the course of 27 rounds, whatever we've got, or 23 rounds, however you want to look at it, and, and we've, we've done it ourselves, you know, looking at little season, looking at the season in, in block by block. I think you need a little bit, bit of luck in there, Steph. I think injuries and other external influences can have, a, can have an impact in this season, but I think we've just got to take care of, of our own ends. I think we're, we're finding a, a nice style of footy. Um, I think defensively we've been pretty rock solid for most of the year. I think a lot of it is down to us and our attitude and our preparation. You know, I always find that when we prepare well and everybody's switched on um, and we bring our energy to the game, you know, we're a very, very difficult team to play against. And I think a lot of it is down to down to you guys. You know, us in making sure that we, you know we're giving you the right information and prepared, and just keeping our feet on the ground and taking it week by week and. and not starting to get ahead of ourselves if we're, you know, if we're up at the top of the competition and we're having good wins. I think every week will bring its own different challenge. And you know, when you are sat right up the top of the table, everybody wants to knock you off. So I think, you know, I think individually and collectively, just week by week, getting his attitude right, getting his energy right, and you know, I think we have found, you know, we have found a formula that is working for our team and. And we've got some strength in depth. I think the other one, Steph, is we, you know we've got some injuries ourselves. You know we managed to, we're managing to keep that strong sort of 13, 17 yeah. out of there. But we have got some more players. We've got eight or nine blokes that you know over the next four or five weeks should be coming back and hopefully driving up com competition for places too. Yeah, so obviously, like you say, it's you know the depth of squad. We've obviously lost Sandy. Um, he's going to be missing for a little bit longer. But obviously we got. We got Jordan Cox back at the weekend, and that seemed to, you know, be the spark that we needed. Yeah, he's been telling everybody he gave us a great lift and a boost. Um, he made review this week on a positive <laughs> for once, rather than uh, rather than for a negative. He actually made the highlights real rather than the lowlights real. Um, so yeah, obviously good to get him back. And on the back of two defeats, I think everybody in the club were mightily relieved when he when he came through his fitness test. Yeah, it certainly was. And um, what's going on with the old the old nose there on the front? A bit of a, yeah, bit of a cut on there. We've had an industrial accident today at training. Lee Breers, not quite, I can't work it out whether he did it on purpose. As you guys were doing your weights, 
obviously we like to kick a ball about. Well, I did, or, to be honest, I did turn around at one point when I was doing weights and you was on your own doing kick-ups on, <laughs> on the mat. So. Yeah, I've done my preparation stuff. When you're at home sleeping, I'm working my, well, 11 and 12 on the night. So, you know, when I come into work on the morning, I'm ready, ready to, to go. go. Mate, I'm ready to go. So, yeah, we like to use a bit of our spare time while you guys are doing weights. Passing a few balls about, doing some kick-ups, coming up with hand-eye drills, stuff like that. Anyway, this morning, we decided to have a game of cricket. Um, put some stumps there, at least tossing some, some spinners up on hand, wicket keeper, catching them in, getting them into my gloves. And one of them, Ricochet, flicked off the stumps and the ball hit me. Smacking, smacking me now, sir. Happy days. And it's had surgery, mate. It's, it's out of the catalogue, this as well. It is, so it's a catalogue as well, yeah. Is another of those procedures yeah. at, at this stage of events. Awesome. Happy All days. Right, Cheers, Rich. Good.